Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Isuzu D-Max. It's a Bucky, if you haven't noticed. And are you in the market for a Bucky? Are you just someone who loves watching car reviews? Stick around in this video because I'm going to tell you what this Isuzu D-Max is all about. How does it drive? Is it comfortable? Is it rugged on the road? How's the fuel efficiency? Even if you're not in the market for a Bucky like this, just stick around and watch because it'll be very interesting for you to see what Isuzu has come up with. When you are partaking in any car conversations, you'll have an idea of you can you can give an input into the discussion. Yeah, you can say you saw this on Motoring and Tech World and then maybe someone will ask you what is Motoring and Tech World, you can tell them and then maybe you can get them to subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely amazing. But guys, let's get back to the video. So this Isuzu I'm driving today, Isuzu D-Max, a Bucky. I might say car, so forgive me for that. So this Bucky, it's a 1.9 liter turbo diesel. It's a LS. Now straight away, guys, let's get into it. The price, what are you going to pay for this Isuzu D-Max 1.9 liter turbo diesel? You will pay 585,000. It's, it's an average price. You're getting a very good vehicle for that price. And as you know, Isuzu is definitely one of the preferred Bucky manufacturers in South Africa. It's extremely popular. And as you drive this car, I mean, as not as you, as I, as I'm driving this car, I can see why it is very popular. Now, guys, stick around to the end. I will tell you what the fuel efficiency of this Bucky is, and it's really, really good. How does it feel? How's the power? How's the kilowatts? 110 kilowatts of power, 350 newton meters of torque. Now, the car definitely, it's not the three liter, even though it's still the 1.9 liter, it does pack a punch. When you press it, it actually does move quite well. This car definitely handles all the bumps and the blemishes in the road very very well this car is priced mid-range it's not priced high up so some of the features you are going to get you will get a reverse camera very very important in a car of this size and you do get rear pdc now you don't get front pdc you do get that on the more expensive ones the three liter turbo diesels do some of them do offer the front pdc which i think would have been nice if Isuzu included it in this but we can see that it is it is mildly priced so you're getting like standard cruise control you're not getting adaptive cruise control in this in this bucky and you do get front and rear electric windows also the car starts with the key i'm not going to show you the key because i would have to have to stop driving i'm not going to do that but trust me when i say you need a key it doesn't have push to start now a few of these features would be nice to have but Isuzu have kept the price quite timid it, it's in the mud it's just over 500,000 Rand and because they kept the price at this mid range they are going to sacrifice on some of the features that you would get in more luxurious vehicles of this kind now although you don't get pushed to start you are getting front and rear electric windows and it is very nice that Isuzu has included front and rear USB ports and you got a nice multi-function steering wheel you got a great infotainment system that works very well I haven't played, paired it with Bluetooth, but it does have Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. I have paired it with a USB device. It works very seamlessly. The buttons on the steering wheel work well. The drive is very, very comfortable. The boot actually works well, the load capacity and everything. So it does have like a, a secure lid at the back. So you can't just open, you need the key. So you turn the key, push forward, and you have a very, very big loading space. And you do have a window, if you can see at the back, I'm pointing to a window you can actually slide the window then if you do have anyone at the back sitting there you can you can access them quite well in terms of safety seven airbags you have curtain airbags as well and Isuzu has included a 120,000 kilometer warranty on this car not okay. only do you have a warranty you do have a service plan and that's 90,000 kilometers on the service plan now you have been looking at the car you're probably wondering what what inch what size wheels does it have it has 17 inch wheels with the optional extra of being 18 inch and the one i'm driving now at the moment today it has the optional extra of the 18 inch wheels and higher wheels always help with the ground clearance and note this is not a 4.2 this is a rear wheel drive and it's yeah it's a 4x2 not 4x4 and rear wheel drive and it's automatic as well which is very very easy to drive so i've taken you through the actual specs of the car there's a lot more specs that I haven't mentioned I mean the video will get too long if I list all the specs but you can go to the Isuzu website and go to the 1.9 turbo diesel the LS which is the one I'm driving at the moment and you will get a list of all the specifications that you want and bear in mind it is at 585,000 now if you are in the market for a Bucky this is a very very big contender now if you're looking for the fuel efficient side then you would want to go for the 1.9 liter but 
if you want something a bit more luxurious, you want something with more towing capacity, something with more kilowatts and more newton meters, then go for the three liter turbo diesel. That, that bit of extra torque and power does actually help and you're not sacrificing a lot on fuel efficiency. Like I said, I got under nine liters on the Isuzu D-Max three liter. Now, if you are interested in the three liter version of this car, and that was a four x four, I will link it in the description box below and I will link it at the end of this video so you guys can have a look at the, the three liter Isuzu. And also, if you're looking for any other buckies like this, I have got the Toyota Hilux. I've got the Peugeot or Peugeot Landtrek, however you like to say it. That's surprisingly a very nice bucky. A bit more pricier than this Isuzu D-Max. It does have a 360 camera and it has leather seats and it is absolutely super comfortable. Now this Isuzu, if you take it off-road, it will be like a fish in water. Not out of water, remember I said a fish in water. Even though it's a 4x2, this car, I mean, it's so strong when you're driving. You do feel powerful in this vehicle, although you're not standing super high in terms of ground clearance. but. The presence on the road is definitely felt. Isuzu, you really have done well in this car. And Isuzu has kept the price at 585. Now, I know I keep mentioning the price and it's a very good price for this vehicle because looking at the, I know prices are gone quite expensive of new cars. And um, I mean, even compact SUVs can go up to 500, for between 300 to 600,000. Now, over here, you've got an Isuzu, you've got a Bucky. It's double cab, so you can take passengers. If you are going on road trips, it's fairly comfortable. You've got a good load space, so there's nothing to complain about in this double Since cab. fuel is uh, fuel efficiency, fuel tank, it's, it's at the top of our minds nowadays. The Isuzu D-Max comes with a 76 liter fuel tank. Now, what kind of a range can you expect? You can expect a range of 1,041 kilometers. Now, I haven't driven this car to the exact full tank and I can't tell you that it will take you exactly 1041 kilometers you just have to trust Isuzu for that and obviously it depends on how you drive now the 76 liter fuel tank giving you that range of kilometers it goes at about 7.3 liters per hundred now guys I have reviewed the Isuzu D-Max if you look at it on the channel it's a red car and it was the 3 liter turbo diesel now on that car, if I remember correctly, I've got under nine liters. I think I got 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers on that car. And from all the buckies that I have reviewed, that definitely was the most fuel efficient. Now I got 8.6 liters on a three liter. I definitely think you can get 7.3 liters on this 1.9 liter turbo diesel. Now currently I am averaging over 10, but like I said, I mean, if you are used to the channel and you know how I review the cars, I'm not looking for the most fuel efficient well, I'm not driving the car in the most fuel efficient sense because I'm testing out various things for you guys so I can report back and on it. You just got to take Isuzu's word for it. And because I got 8.6 on the D-Max 3 liter, I'm quite comfortable that you will you could get under 8 liters on this 1.9 liter turbo diesel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Even if you, if you watch it just for entertainment purposes, just for information purposes, if you are a potential buyer, if you're looking for buckies like this, then uh, I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And guys, as always, if you are watching this video and you are not subscribed to the channel, please, I'm going to use both my hands, please, guys, please subscribe to the channel. It will really, really make a huge difference. And also, if you know people that are interested in cars, want to know what the latest cars are all about, send them this channel, share this video with them and ask them to subscribe to the channel. And remember, guys, guys, before you leave, if you have watched this, well, you are, I'm not going to say if you watch this video, if you are now, it means you're currently watching the video. If not, I'm not sure if your eyes are closed or what, but anyways, you're definitely watching it, right? Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Then I know that you enjoyed the style, this format, and whatever I've done in this video, I will try to do more of. Like the video, share it with your friends and family, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel and keep watching. And if you really enjoyed this video, YouTube is suggesting some videos on the sides here. Click one of those, continue watching on the channel, and guys, I will see you in next week's video.